Okay, so this is a, a model that someone sent me um, because they're having an issue with their plane cut. So he has actually gone through and followed every step that I actually recommend uh, on trimming the model, cleaning it up. He selected all, he pressed B to smooth the boundary. You can see it's a nice smooth edge all around the optical scan. And then he extruded it to build the base. And I went, he, he sent it to be unhollow. I went, I went ahead and hollowed it to save that step. So you can see this hollowed model. But where he's having trouble is when he goes to plane cut, you click plane cut, you bring the, the plane down to where you want it, and it's an open mesh. So the problem is, well, he hit smooth boundary, which will usually keep this from happening, but every once in a while, you'll still get stumbled up. So here's the, the kind of the final place to check. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around the edge here, and I'm going to look for any flaws in the model. If, if I hit analyze, inspector, I'm... Yeah, it didn't show me errors because there aren't any actual holes in the model which can cause that problem. But uh, instead, it's a little different. So I'm going to look around here. I'm just looking for any sort of flat uh, areas that are sort of folded over. Everything looks pretty darn smooth. Pretty darn smooth. Um, around these heels where it is where it tends to happen. I don't see any sort of um, indication that it's folded over. Keep looking. I'm looking through where my mouse is. And I think right back here might be our trouble area. So I can see the pink. That's the inside of our model. That's like an inside out model. Um, and if I, I think there's even one right here. Yeah, I can see it folded back. So I'm guessing that those would be the, the problem areas. Let's see if there's anywhere else though. We don't want to assume that's the only area. And I come around, and this area right here is sort of folded back too. I don't know that it's going to cause a problem, but we'll go ahead and fix that as well. So the fix is very, very simple. We just need to get rid of the fold. So to do that, I'm going to come over Sculpt, click on Brush, and any of these smooth buttons will probably work. I use Robust Smooth, you know, pick your poison. So I, I, I'm okay with having a little bigger. I'm going to use my little bracket buttons to make it bigger. I'm just going to smooth this whole area out. And watch what happens. Yep. You see that fold sort of undo itself? I'll zoom in a little more for this next one. Watch as I, it, there's a fold that's being undone. Now I don't even have to go all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top because I'm gonna make a cut right through here and that's where it needs to be smooth. And so this little folded area, I don't know if it's gonna be of any consequence, but since I'm already doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that up as well. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit just escape to get out of that button. Now let's try the plane cut. Let's see what happens. Plane cut. Let's drag that down to where we'd like it. Oop, too far. Okay. And there it is. It's a closed model. This would be fine for him. Um, and so yeah, I think that's that's the solution he's looking for. Uh, we just need to be able to smooth that little area. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have one of those problems, it, it doesn't happen often, but if it does, that's usually a good go-to to figure out where the wrinkle is, where the fold occurred. All right. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.